Okay. Okay, Hi, uh, Professor Young, can you hear me? Yes. Very clear. Okay, okay so and uh, we yeah, we prepared uh, one of a very interesting cases, very uh, I think this case is very educational case and uh, imaging is very nice. Uh, I, I'm sure is that we can learn lots of things by uh, this case. So, and uh, Dr. Joe, can you briefly introduce patient background? Okay, hello. Uh, I want to introduce this case. This case, this patient is a 60 years old male patient. He admitted for the effort angina. His, his coronary risk factor uh, was uh, hypertension. Uh, he actually, two years ago, he received PCI at the proximal mid already with VRS. Uh, uh, Coral angiogram showed the severe ISO lesion at proximal ARAD. So, and the could you show the first uh, angiogram view? Uh, the patient recently uh, complained the uh, recurrent uh, chest pain at the minimal effort and next one. Uh, looking at the, this is uh, RAO uh, cranial view, and uh, we can see that there is some two platinum that proximal part is nearly LED osteum, and the middle uh, distal platinum the part is uh, 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 mid LED shows the very severe calcification. Okay, two years ago, this patient underwent PRS uh, uh, implantation, and uh, at the time we did the uh, aggressive PSP predilation and uh, uh, sizing on the basis of uh, IBUS and uh, post dilation using the 3.5 uh, non compliance uh, high pressure balloon. Uh, two years ago, uh, the Professor Kang, can you show us the two years ago initial immediate uh, post angio and the uh, OCT finding? Yes, this is the, can you see the PEX image? This is the two years ago angiographic image after. Uh, implanting BVS 3.0, and we uh, applied 3.5 NC up to 20 ATM to make a optimal PSP for BVS. The angiography result looks excellent, and also we have the OCT that we evaluated after BVS implantation. At the time, we did the PSP technique on the basis of diverse finding. Okay, could you explain? Here, here is the, this is the BVS finding. Just after we implanted the, the final image of the BVS. And you can see the BVS size, lumen size is more than 3.0, about 3.5, because we have already applied 3.5 NC up to 20 ATM. And approximately, you can very well see the thrust of the BVS, and also can see the whole lumen is very expanded up to more than 3.5, and approximately the size is more than 3.5, about 4.0. Mm -hmm. This is, is the it, final uh, image of the previous BVS mm -hmm. implantation. Yeah, BVS was well the, the embedded uh, of the basal wall. So at this moment, and uh, we checked the uh, uh, OCT again. And could you, could you? We already checked the core registration, NGO, and the OCT. At this moment, uh, uh, Professor Kang, can you explain the, the, what is the main mechanism of the BVS failure for yes. uh, such patient? Because we know that the previous BRS was very well expanded, uh, we uh, first thought that the main mechanism would be neo intima or not. Let's check the OCT. This time, reference vessel, there is some disease. And this time, you can see that uh, there is no intima inside the BVS. Mm, but lumen is okay here. Mm -hmm. But here, the tightest portion, you can see that the full neo intima made the uh, lumen compromise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm especially the tightest portion here. You can see the fibrous neo mm -hmm. growth grew during the two years mm -hmm. after BVS implantation. Mm -hmm. But one additional finding is that BVS size is smaller mm -hmm. than 
we just implant, have mm -hmm. implanted. Mm -hmm. The size was more than 3.5 at that mm -hmm. time, mm -hmm. but now the BVS size is less than 2.5. Shrinkage. Yes. yes, definitely. So I think that the BVS uh, was shrinkage, uh, uh, uh. and uh, because of the uh, weak radial force, yeah, there was yeah. some shrinkage with uh, uh. the neurointimal hyperplasia. Yeah, so is, this is a very interesting finding. Okay, Professor Gang, can you show us the, uh, the introduced central illustration of the previous paper yes. for that? Okay, yes. your pockets are okay. okay, this is the, uh, yeah. the picture that the Dr. Soro is. Patrick uh, Soro, a pattern yes. of a vessel leaf modeling. And the, the lower figure, six, uh, six o'clock, that is the, the lumen narrowing with negative lumen modeling. The, he, uh, uh, Show that the, the rate of the such uh, remodeling uh, uh. is 19% uh, uh, uh. compared with the, uh, the positive remodeling mm -hmm. with narrowing is 12%. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this kind of this patient mm -hmm. situation, the negative remodeling of the mm -hmm. uh, scaffold with mm -hmm. the narrowing hyperplasia mm -hmm. occurs Main about mechanism one of fifth a, of yeah. the patient. Yeah, you know, so patient. one is a uh, uh, mechanical. The merit of the BBS was uh, over time we. Expect the positive remodeling vessel can enlarge uh, the after, immediate after. Also, uh, the the but the BBS was observed, but uh, this is a additional typical finding of the BRS failure and the negative remodeling as well as uh, neurotimal hyperplasia is a uh, you know imaging is a very interesting case. So, any any comment for that and any the expert uh, imaging expert comment at this finding? So, so certainly this is a very important observation, even though we're not putting in B BRS anymore, but I think we need to understand when it failed, uh, when we see these patients, what does it mean and how to treat it. Uh, it's mm -hmm. interesting that it fails focally, in, but you can see also there is sort of diffuse narrowing within those two platinum markers as well. So it's probably negative mm -hmm. remodeling yeah. throughout, and then one area with more intimal hyperplasia. So, is that your observation? I know that you show the one area, the, these stand struts are uh, much smaller, but I presume all the black boxes left over from BRS are all uh, relatively smaller mm -hmm. compared to the original um, mm -hmm. and, uh, post procedure results. Yeah, right, right. So, any, any, any panel and any moderator, and the, uh, can you share the BRS failure? experience and any imaging finding or one of the interesting imaging findings, something like that? Anybody want yes. to comment, uh, Dr. Suji? I don't have any experience because of the <laughs> before expansion BRS in Japan, you just quit the about quit the mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, BRS. <coughs> so we don't have any uh, mm -hmm. much more experience. So. The, the interesting thing about yeah. the PSP is that if, if you really go high pressure or size wise, would you actually break some of those, um, you know, uh, polymer uh, struts or connectors that you obviously <coughs> cannot tell from post procedure OCT? So, so that's the double edged sword, right? So you want to make it bigger to prevent, um, you know, recoil, uh, but at the same time, if you do too hard, uh, you may break the um, connectors yeah. and then cause. Um, so early failure from uh, negative remodeling, but this mm -hmm. obviously at two years, the, there's not much strength left from the uh, uh, <coughs> the struts, even though the black boxes are still there. But most of the mass loss mm -hmm. has happened mm -hmm. already. Yeah, right, right. So uh, the, everybody know where the mm -hmm. next version of the BRS. Uh, the manufacturer companies to try to reduce the thickening of the BRS, but uh, I think such like uh, some austere approximated region, elastic recoil is much strong compared to another region. So, is uh, you know radial force is one of the key component of uh, uh, the stand as well as the BRS of uh, maintain the rate the uh, uh, the lumen the 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 patency. So and the the what 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 would you do uh, the treatment option for such patients is any opinion from panel? Anyone want to comment? Mm -hmm. How would you treat this at this point? Is the question is, mm. is whether or not those black box still contain anything or not. If it's just an empty space, this would be look like a, mm -hmm. a native vessel once again with mm -hmm. negative remodeling mm -hmm. and plaque inside it. So you mm -hmm. just 
treat it as if yeah. it's a uh, native artery, native uh, stenosis. I think it's just putting in another DES uh, so from relatively normal to normal area yeah, and, definitely. and take it like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. And the procedure itself is very simple. Mm. And so uh, I'm going to pre dilation using non compliant balloon. And then I think uh, that I, I'll see some what happening occur after implantation, uh, after uh, pre dilation. This is a NC balloon 345. Uh, okay, test. Okay. Wow, six. Eight, eight, okay. Ten, ten. Okay. Deplete. Mm -hmm. This is 3.5 NC balloon. How, how okay. much Go. pressure? Six, eight, ten. This is a 12 ATM, mm -hmm. 14 ATM, mm -hmm. 3.5 NC balloon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Deplete. These are to be easy to dilate. Uh. Okay. Test. <laughs> yeah. Easy to dilate. <laughs> okay. Go. Six, eight, ten. Ten. 12, 12, At least it's not like putting initial time we try okay. to yeah. So, yeah. Uh, okay. At the least you can expand pretty well. I yeah, think. initial time that we mm. did a very aggressive or meticulous balloon implantation mm. as a PSP technique. Mm. At the time we implanted mm. three point five or nearly twenty ATM. Mm. Okay, here. What, what then what the do you we think check is going to happen to intro? those black boxes now? <laughs> mm. um, okay. It, it okay. probably within the next year or probably mm. will disappear uh, and. Mm. Okay. Okay. Too much. Mm. So at this moment, I'm, I'm mm. going to show again the OCT finding, what's mm. happening after balloon engine flash. Mm. The lumen was much, much improved. Mm. And uh, uh, this uh, OCT finding is very helpful to understand, the, especially in the BRS uh, mm. failure and the, to understand the mechanism of the BRS failure. Mm. <coughs> So maybe, maybe the intimal plaque and mm. distribution mm. compromises the, the septal yeah, flow a yeah. little bit as well. Mm. So, mm. okay, this is OCT. Ja, here we go. Ja, core registration. Ha, go. Ja, 방향 확인했고. Ja, test. This is nice. Okay. Ja, here we go. Okay. 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 Okay, this is a uh, uh, okay call registration. Okay, we implanted the uh, the non-compliant balloon three point five, and then uh, we can see the what's happening here. Is uh, could you show slow much slowly? Okay, so there's yeah, you can angiographically about yeah. next to that diagonal has a little dissection, and you can see very clearly on the. OCT, yeah, right, right. Little, little yeah, you can see that, yeah. Okay, 그냥 play, play를 내추럴하게. Very nice. <coughs> okay, 왔어? 강 선생? Okay, 설명 좀 해봐. The mm. dissection occurred mm. outside the BVS. So how long yeah, was the B, uh, BRS the again before? The, how long was the stent, the BRS? Uh, the, yeah, 3.0, 20, 3, 3, 3. 23, 23. Mm. If we measure the length of the BVS, mm. length is Here. 23. 23. Yeah. <laughs> the, there's 23. no longitudinal yeah. deformation, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. just the relatively yeah. length because of 23. the 23. Okay. And uh, I recommend the stenting over uh, 42 um. millimeters, or <laughs> maybe we need a two stent. Uh, and this totally, yeah. To, to cover the normal to normal, uh, I recommend uh, uh. you to implant 3.25. 3.25, 3.5. Just we yeah. require two stand or one stand? Yeah, this time two stand and then add additional uh, stand. 3.5. Yeah. I <laughs> want you to implant 338, uh, but mm, it's too short. <laughs> okay, okay. Do you, can, you, can you show again the proxy LA DPRS and the initially negative remodeling that we found? And after aggressive uh, high pressure using 3.5, is there any much large enlargement of Yes, lumen is, more, lumen is larger than before, uh -huh, but uh -huh. because it, we believe that the, the BVS scaffold uh, uh -huh. lose its radial force, I recommend you to add one more uh -huh. uh, metallic stent. Uh -huh. Okay. 
Mm. Okay, here is a we we uh, enjoy again. Enjoy ready. Push <coughs> mm. Okay, I'm gonna uh, put the 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 drug eluding mm. stand and the uh, this is design mm. uh, stand and the th uh, three point five thirty eight. Okay. So mm. PRS failure, we uh, put the nearly mm. more than thousand patients. The PRS mm. failure is a. Uh, not common, very rare. We mm. experience just less mm. than five cases. Mm. Usually okay. Mm. So this case is uh, uh, so, so the mechanism is uh, uh, intimate proliferation and uh, negative remodeling. If there is no yeah, negative, right. if there is no negative remodeling, is there any option of the mm. DB, DCP, or BRS? Uh, yeah, <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that, is a, mm. that would be yeah. possible if yeah. there is no uh, yeah. negative remodeling. Yeah. Yes. Because we Definitely. usually do okay. the uh, so DB, DCP the in the instant list analysis. <laughs> because we avoid the two, uh, two uh, metallic layer. But uh, in, uh, I don't have any, uh, any experience of VRS this analysis. Yeah. So. <laughs> the, the difficulty is that, yeah, the difficulty okay. is that you don't know. Okay. Um, the uh, uh, sort of the um, polymer struts goes away, whether mm. th even when there's no negative remodeling yeah. at this time, yeah. Yeah. six months later, would there be negative remodeling? Yeah. Yeah. So you safer to put in just uh, a metallic yeah. Yeah. Uh, backbone yeah. to hold it yeah. up. And this is a pretty big vessel, approximately mm. the, uh, mm. I think it would do well with, uh, with another DES mm. in there. Mm. And I think you choose using a mm. sign, so you m sort of match up the, mm. the drugs if, in every limits anyway. Yeah, if this case is uh, so instant one of, one of Mm. How do you treat metallic in yeah, yeah. stenosis? Um, in the uh, U.S., it's simpler because we yeah. don't have yeah. uh, DEB, so we don't have any uh, drug uh, balloons. So okay. we pretty much, um, you know, check with we IVIS or OCT, yeah. optimize the um, stent, the old stent, and if you necessary, you might have to use high pressure or maybe even shock wave if possible mm. to make sure everything is as yeah, well, as big as possible before mm. putting a second DES in. Yeah. So that will be kind of our option, yeah. not a whole lot of choices uh, in the U.S. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so the, one, of, one of uh, the key points of this lesson for Lem Main or Austin region, mm. uh, although we uh, invent the next version of the PRS, uh, some uh, region selection might be required for the PRS implantation. It's like uh, some Austin region, uh, some having some higher elastic uh, recoil or lab main uh, PRS would not be good option or another mm. region is a the good option. It's okay, this is 3.5 NC balloon. Mm. So, so DW, you're going to uh, post dilate and then do another okay. OCT um, as your plan? Yeah, I, I'm okay. gonna do. It. Yeah, okay, okay right. You so can, we're gonna go six, to uh, Dr. Miramutsu's okay, uh, room to get started, and we'll come back to you to check the results. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Let's Wonderful. go ahead to uh, Dr. Miramutsu's room. Hi, Dr. Miramutsu. How Hello. are you doing? Hello, everyone. Mm. All right. Good. Good. Uh, we can see everybody well. Will so introduce um, the song. ready for you. Okay, I will present the case. Okay, um, hi, uh, I'm Phil Hyung Lee. I will uh, present the case. This patient is a 70-year-old male patient. Uh, he um, came here for the effort chest pain uh, uh, during the several months recently. Uh, actually, he failed the PCI to, uh, for the circumflex, which was not a CTO in another hospital, and he was referred to our hospital. Uh, his coronary injury showed uh, triple vessel disease, including RCA CTO, and a significant stenosis at the proximal circumflex and a diffuse stenosis at the uh, LAD uh, with a positive, positive FFR at the uh, uh, LAD. So uh, actually we already fixed the circum and the LAD and we're trying to do the RCA today. Uh, uh, the, left, uh, the left main and the LAD and circ was fixed with the crush technique. Uh, next please. So he had a, a history of uh, cancer, lung cancer, testicular cancer, tonsillar cancer, but he's uh, disease-free right now. Uh, his symptom is uh, CCS class two right now. Uh, can we have a previous uh, baseline angel? Okay, right here. So this is an angel that we took from, oh, this is from another hospital. Uh, yeah, this is an angel that took uh, at uh, our hospital um, at, uh, 
uh, November 4th, and uh, you can see the uh, abrupt cutoff at the uh, bifurcation at the RCA, uh, RV branch. You can see, okay, down. You can see the calcium that is indicating the root of RCA down. This was the previous status of left coronary uh, left system. You can see the disease at the proximal circum and LAD down. Okay, down. Can we see the uh, cranial view? Okay, this was the status of LAD. At that time, the LAD was FFR positive. You can see uh, uh, collateral from the first big septal to the PDA, and there's another collateral from the rising from the circ from the PLA. Okay, down. Okay, so we already fixed the left system, and we're trying to do it uh, the RCACTO today. Namaste, Sensei. Okay, <coughs> so this is uh, today's angiogram. Bilateral, uh, bilateral seven French, the A1 for the right, EVU 3.5 for the left. As you can see, the, the mid portion of the right, right corner has a CTO, just beyond the, uh, the branch. This is an audio view. And some mm. collateral channel came from the left system by uh, septal, mainly septal, and another epicardial, some epicardial channel from the suck. Uh, so this is the, the base range. So we have. Would you like to ask the how about the <laughs> procedure strategy for the panelists? Anyone want to comment? It's, it, it seems like the proximal cap is kind of, you know, kind of spare, but kind of ambiguous a bit exactly mm. where it takes off. But there's a little bit of a maybe possible channel, but um, mm. what would people try? Do they try anti grade first or give it a, or ultrasound guided? What would you mm. do? Anyone want to comment? So, Dr. Muramat says that. Dr. Muramat, this is all this is Hi, yes, yes. So, yeah, the, hello. Um, hi. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the, do you think the region is uh, short or long? Short, short. Um, just short. Uh, around uh, 10 millimeter? Uh, Maybe 15, mm. 15, 20 millimeter. So there is a no, there is a stamp or not? As you can see, there's some mm. uh, stamp? Bra ar ar mm. branch. Just mm. mm. a bit. we have some, mm. some channel. Yeah, yeah. more. Mm. So there's something yeah. there. So, it is a dependent on the stamp or non-stamp CTO. So mm -hmm. if there is no stamp, no, one method is to check uh, uh, ostium by the IBUS. Mm -hmm. And if there is a uh, mm -hmm. uh, stamp or the, some uh, uh, microchannel, go straight to the anti-grade approach. Right. It's my opinion. Mm. Mm. So I presume, every, uh, mm. Dr. Murray, so you can try some, uh, maybe an integrate try and see whether that, mm. that's a, that micro channel is actually real or not real. Yeah, mm. I, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> so the I, <laughs> any, any other question? Anyone want to do the retro mm. approach? No, no one, no one interesting for the retrograde. No, but uh, the previous angiogram, the, the, the good collateral yeah, from the big step from the first big scepter. So, the retrograde mm. is one option, but uh, um, because of the region length is not so long, so um, I think the antigrade approach is one option. But uh, yeah. there's a severe calcium. Maybe, but uh, do, do you have the CT? No CT? No, CT no we don't. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No mm. no. So, but uh, if, but, uh, yes, if you have a CT, very heavy that, calcium yeah. in yeah. Mm. 
Okay. Okay. <laughs> tell, us, yeah. tell us what, what, what you're planning to do. Yeah, yeah. I would like to yes, see. So I agree with the Dr. Oji's, <laughs> Dr. Oji's, Oji's opinion. <laughs> so I chose the, the, the I was guided mm. to try to watch because of the Dr. Oji's opinion. <laughs> the same. The, we have to find uh, some some channel or not. Mm. It is very important by Ivers. So I introduced uh, the Ivers mm. for the the branch and the show the mm. uh, how were the characteristics of the uh, entry point. So, so I will show you the Ivers. Okay. Bring back from the branch. Uh, the branch. Yeah. This is the first one. Yeah. This is the first Ivers. Mm. You you're seeing the RV branch. A little bit of plaque there, and please concentrate at the five o'clock. Mm. Mm. Yes, here, yeah. here. Mm. So we can see mm. someone, some, someone mm. in the some space, mm. right? Some space, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, right there, yes, here, here, mm. here. Yeah. 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 Five, five, yeah. yeah, five o'clock. Mm. You can see some, yes, we can something, see. right? Yes. Yeah. Some mm. channel, mm. right? Mm. My, maybe. So this is a, we have a chance <laughs> mm, to the micro channel tracking. Mm, okay. Yeah. So I try to the uh, crusade mm. and using like the XTR. So mm. you, this is in the, into the channel. Mm. XTR. Mm. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Not 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 difficult. Very mm. smooth inside. Oh. Like this mm. one. Already passed. Not. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mm. <laughs> this is a uh, not CTO. <laughs> mm, yeah. 1990, 99% mm. stenosis. 1999. Yes. <laughs> we were very disappointed. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> we'll take the wire yeah. out and try again. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have to make it longer mm. for mm. us, you know, a yeah. longer procedure. Mm. This time without eyes. <laughs> mm. So, it's so a very, the very uh, one representative mm. case to so I was uh, guided to PCI. Mm. I mean, very good yeah. angiography really helps you. I mean, we saw yeah. a little something, but not yeah. sure, right? Because yeah. on yes. Instagram, you see a little yes. line, but is yes. it real or not real? Yeah. I think the ultrasound confirmed that, yes. and you yeah. know, I think obviously exactly. Dr. Maramutsu. Oh, another type of stenosis here? So. Yes, very diffuse. Oh. Very diffuse. Oh, very very, very complex anatomy. Uh, I mm. yes, I but, uh, changed to the <laughs> Gaia, Gaia mm. wire. Oh, Gaia. Oh, and uh, finally, <laughs> finally we can pass everything. Mm. <laughs> yes, this is a 2.0 balloon. Mm. We changed the wire to the run through. Yeah, wire. so now we show you the IBUS okay. after 2.0 balloon. <coughs> so. From the Start, PD branch. Yes. Starting from the distal. Mm. Maybe it's quite negatively remodeled. Mm. Okay, some branch here. There's a superficial cation, quite a large uh, amount of pop. And um, this point will be a potential distal target, I think. Okay. A very diffuse disease mm -hmm. with superficial castro. Okay, the vessel size is about 3.0. Okay. This is a distal <coughs> part. Very diffuse disease, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, the wire, the position is all in the intima uh, uh, space. You see? Yes. All right. So. Okay, the vessel size is about mm. four point zero in this place. Four point zero, four point five, okay.
still we have to cover the, the space. I think uh, we need uh, at least two stents to cover all the lesions. Mm. So one question I have before we go to another case, uh, Dr. Meru, so uh, for those of us who doesn't use the crusade too often, do you try to orient this, the sort of the side holes uh, towards where you want to go or because sometimes it could be backwards and how do you actually want to make the side hole come out to the direction you want? Mm. But side, you, if, if you even use the, the two-way catheter, the wire are going to the, go straight mm -hmm. from the side hole. But, and so I try to, the uh, most important issue is the direction of the angiography. Mm -hmm. So in this case, uh, of the, the, as you can see, the LAO view is not, not, not so suitable mm -hmm. for the, the, uh, doing right. the uh, two-way catheter. As mm -hmm. you can see, the LAO view is, uh, you cannot see where is uh, yeah, overlap. So the, this is RAO. RAO, RAO is so-so mm -hmm. uh, good, but the uh, mm -hmm. most uh, suitable uh, direction is the RAO <coughs> cranial. Mm -hmm. So RAO cranial is a uh, very uh, straightened or the proximal right coronary. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, the uh, very uh, good, clear uh, viewing of the, the bifurcation of the uh, branch. And this is a uh, two-way catheter. Mm -hmm. And it, uh, clearly, we can see the uh, direction mm -hmm. of the way it's, where it's, uh, we want to go there. Right. So the choice so, of the direction of the angiography is very important. Thank you. Will you, uh, will you protect the artery branch before stenting? Maybe I was finding so um, the some flow disturbance of the artery ostium. Because yeah, the artery I will check the angiography the, from now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, because of time, we're going to go yeah, to okay. uh, the other rooms, uh, Dr. Mary Musu, come back to you after you okay. have stented this and show us the, the result. Okay, thank okay. you so much. Mm. Let's go to uh, Dr. Park. Okay. Thank you. Mm. Okay. From, okay. From so we're going to go back mm. to Dr. DW Park. Okay. Um, yes. Show us. Yeah. Your, uh, okay. We already finished the uh, yeah. <laughs> OCT. Mm -mm. Yeah. Okay. We uh, already finished the procedure. We put mm. the design 3.5, uh, 38 mm. uh, drug eluding uh, stand. This is a high pressure balloon inflation using stand booster, a 3.5 uh, NC balloon. We uh, did a uh, a high pressure balloon implantation. Mm -hmm. This is uh, try to exact position of proximal part. So uh, result is good. Mm -hmm. And then we already checked the OCT core uh, registration. And uh, looking at the final angio, this is a uh, uh, area cranial view. And the lumen was uh, much, much enlarged. And uh, this is uh, uh, epicoral view was uh, much improved. And the spider view is good. Also, mm. we checked the final OCT. Okay, can you show final OCT? Mm. Okay, play. So, and uh, looking at the OCT, OCT is very helpful uh, to detect the uh, uh, position, and uh, uh, we can see the how much is seen in the metal extent compared to the uh, PRS and the much, much seen. And the lumen was enlarged. The backyard was, uh, we can see the uh, compressed uh, uh, PRS scaffold and the lumen was uh, much, much enlarged. And uh, here is uh, widely expanded and uh, this is uh, proximal and uh, stand was uh, better paused and uh, widely expanded. And uh, you know, this case is uh, two ed educational points and the overall procedure is very simple. Uh, on the basis of the OCT finding, uh, we uh, got uh, some hint to understand uh, uh, one of the main mechanism of the PRS failure. The second educational point, uh, if uh, PRS failure occur, we can treat uh, easily with uh, uh, the contemporary drug eluding stand. The two point is uh, uh, educational point, uh, uh, such interesting case. Okay, okay. any comment or the uh, question from audience or panel? Thank you very much. <clears throat> I, th I think it's really good illustration how to deal with this problem and uh, excellent result. Thank mm -hmm. you, DW. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're now going to go to uh, Dr. An. Um, Dr. An, you, you have two procedures listed yes. on, this, on, the, on the schedule, so are you doing both together at the same time? 
<laughs> yeah. Case 13 and case 16, both are your name. So I presume you're trying to do both. But anyway, let us know what you're doing. Very quickly. <laughs> Very quickly. So after the successful wiring, so I, I applied a uh, 2.5 high pressure balloon. Next. And next. So this is 2.5 high pressure balloon. Next. Next. This is 3.5 high pressure balloon. Can you see the very classified LAD and left main bifurcation? Next, please. Next. After LAD pre region modification, this is 2.5 high pressure balloon. Next. I implanted a stand, short stand, 12 millimeters, 2.5. Next. Before removal of the circumflex system, I applied 2.5 high pressure inside of the stand to maximize the the circumflex ostium stain cross section area before crushing. Bef next. Next. And then using the 3.5 high pressure balloon, I crushed the circumflex stain. Next. This is after circumflex stain implantation and crushing. Next. next. This is uh, 4038. Vessel size is uh, more than 40 left main to the proximal LED. Next. Next, this is a stand optimization for LAD. Next, next, because LAD stand is so under expanded, so I applied high pressure using 3 o high pressure balloon. After stand optimization, left to main to the LAD, I insert the wire to the circumflex. After the circumflex wire, I insert a 2.5 compliant balloon. And compliant balloon, next. This is the final kissing balloon, next. LAD is 3.5, circumflex is 2.5. This is the final spider view. Next. This is the caudal view. Next. This is the cranial view. Please show us the spider view. There is some hazeness mm. uh, between the uh, ramus branch and circumflex osteum, mm. but uh, I think it is due to the some dissection and then uh, due to the calcification. So, I don't like to do more evaluation to do more uh, procedure for side branch osteum, mm. so I like to finish my procedure. Mm. Uh, any imaging through the LED or, or circumflex? Uh, any post? Uh, Could you show us the LED ibis? Ibis? So I complex. Uh, I I I failed to insert the uh, mm. ibis y catheter mm. to the circumflex. So this is the LED. Could you show us the flux LED from the flux LED? Start, please. This is the flux LED ibis. Proximal LED vessel size is four, more than 4 o, so I implanted stand 4 o stand. And diagonal uh, circumflex is coming from the six, 7 o'clock. Here is the this left main. Here is the shaft of left main. So I think the at least main branch is stenting visually, I think it's very nice. So, do you have any comment and question about so, my procedure? So, did you do the uh, standard class technique, not DK? Not DK. Mm. This is not DK crochet. I mm. didn't. I, I just do just one mm. final kissing balloon dilatation. So, which is better? Do you think which is better, DK or? <laughs> <laughs> Just a crash technique. The, personally, I yeah. think the yeah. personally I think yeah. the the kissing first the kissing balloon mm. is not necessary in the DK mm. crush. DK crush provides us a very important mm. insight, mm. but the first kissing I think is not necessary. So mm. the usually I don't do the first kissing. Mm. But uh, some data shows that DK crush is better than the just a crash technique. Mm. No, How do you uh, think? there what is no uh, <laughs> clinical data to mm. compare. The, mm. There is no the comparison between mm. the classical mm. uh, uh, classic uh, mm. crush technique and DK crush technique. Mm. Just the DK crush is better than mm. the Gulo technique mm. in some random trial, mm. but uh, no no trial to evaluate it, mm. to compare uh, evaluation to compare mm. between the DK crush and class, classical mm. crush crush. Mm. So. Uh, personally, I think DK crush is a very nice technique, but mm. uh, if but uh, when we do the DK crush, no, we need more balloon <laughs> and time-consuming. Very complex technique. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> so the sometimes I uh, neglect, uh, I, I skip the first kissing. Mm. But, but I think you substitute a lot of it with a lot of um, main vessel optimization because mm. I think if you don't do that, um, then it could be a problem, right? Because, you know, getting back into the side branch, all sorts of different complications can happen. But if you spend the time to mm. optimize your main, after you put your side branch, then optimize the main uh, vessel stents, mm. Uh, make it as big as possible, check it well, I think then do your kissing will be probably the same sort of outcome as the DK crush, I think. Yes, I think so. Thank you for your very nice comment. Okay, so um, I think we are going to a different room that you are doing. I'm not sure exactly. <laughs> Where are we going? <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Dr. An, for this case. Yeah. Hi. Okay. Good afternoon. Hi. So, um, Hi. I'm not Dr. An. You're not Dr. Yeah. An. Okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, until the Dr. An move to this room, I will introduce Dr. our yeah. case. Okay. Uh, Dr. Hyun, can you please introduce our case? Okay. A 49 years old male admitted for a normal salum scan result. He received PCI a, a year and a half ago. Coronary angiogram showed patent stent at uh, left main to LAD and see very tight severe stenosis at uh, suck osteum. Next. Uh, he had no underlying comorbidity and clinical presentation was silent ischemia. Next. Echocardiography showed normal LV systolic function without wall motion abnormality. Salium scan revealed a uh, partially reversible defect in uh, LA territory and are, uh, mid, mid basal imperial lateral wall. Next. Okay. I see it was still. Yeah. Right side was okay. And left side, can you please show the, the previous CH and PCI image for the previous procedure? PEX. PEX image. PEX. Okay. This is the one, one and a half years ago, we performed the PCI at the circumflex with a two stand and very tight proximal disease and left main ruptured region with two stand. Can you please show the final result? This is the final result. We, uh, we have done the crossover to left main to LAD with 4.0 and 3.5 stand. And at the final image, spider view, so complex osteum looks good. Next. A coda view, there was some indentation and some stenosis on the osteum of the mm. circumflex. And now we check the angiography. And the angiography shows very tight stenosis mm. of the osteum of the circumflex. Mm. This is the example of the osteo stenosis after left main crossover. Do you have any comment or some opinion about this patient or this situation? When you did your procedure last time, uh, did you have IVIS of the circumflex uh, osteum at that time? Um, did you get a chance uh, to review that? Or? Unfortunately, we mm. do not have the final IVIS image mm. of the circumflex after left main stenting mm. because we just have just crossover and at that time, left circumflex osteum looks mm. very okay. well yeah. opened. Mm. So we just crossed over the stent with just the left main to LAD wiring and check the mm. uh, lumen of the left main to LAD mm. and do not have the circumflex run. So you didn't, do, you didn't do the kissing balloon at that time? Yes, we didn't. We didn't. Mm. Mm. Would you show us the previous one? Last, last picture, 2018, one year ago. Last picture? Mm. One final. One final. Show at the end there, there's a little bit of um, circumflex mm. on areocardial. Oh, this is part of you is good. Next one. Next one. This one. Right. What do you think? There's mm. a small, you know, a little loosen, you know, crying a shift to the circumflex mm. osteum. Um, some plaque for proximal circumflex is mm. diffuse disease. 
by uh, angiographic findings, uh, however, osteal part, the mm. very discrete radio loosen area, mm. shift may be related with a small part of a plaque shift and the corona shift, mm. and yeah. that would be the you know, main mechanism to force part. Mm. And in terms of uh, kissing balloon uh, inflation, what uh, what do you think? Is, uh, is really, uh, do you want to do a kissing balloon inflation for Dr. Otuchi? I, I usually do the kissing balloon, the, especially the left main bifurcation region. In, in, case, in this case, some uh, the, uh, you said on the black or carina shift here. So, Initial? but uh, I don't. Uh, I don't know if the kissing balloon is a uh, uh, is a result of a good result, long term result. Or uh, not. Uh, would you uh, explain to some data from our mm. registry? Mm. I mean, the, the, uh, the circumflex yes, origin the before the procedure looks really quite good. Mm. Mm. If you look at this picture mm. beforehand. So yes, the I presume the IVIS will look pretty good then. Previously, I just uh, mm. yes, the simple crossover stenting. So Our main bifurcation. In addition, after <coughs> yes, after, after simple crossover stenting, mm. the uh, uh, final kitchen balloon or not, there is mm. no random trial mm. in the left main bifurcation. Mm. But uh, based on our registry data, mm. final kitchen balloon did not improve the patient outcome. Mm. Rather, numerically higher risk of left main stent failure. Mm. Uh, uh, mm. The possible mechanism is uh, final mm. kitchen balloon may damage to the main vessel. So the, it is not increased, uh, improve the p uh, patient outcome. So usually mm -hmm. the, we don't recommend the final kissing balloon based on our registry data. Right. How often does this happen, SJ, in terms of if you do a crossover, there's a little bit of something. You did not do any uh, yeah, uh, kissing uh, balloon. What is the, it, this looks like one uh, case, but uh, how often does this happen? Yeah. Last, uh, last pictures uh, actually have uh, some little loosen areas. However, flow is good. Uh, absolutely FFL is negative. Uh, we did a major one. So in particular for those cases, main stem crossover, just leave it alone and kissing balloon inflation. We had uh, some data. Uh, just uh, is not uh, ours, and we didn't find any difference in terms of uh, you know, hard and point concern. There's you know, absolutely no difference. However, in case of a kissing balloon inflation, the TRL rate is a little bit higher. The meaning is uh, actually kissing. For instance, uh, particular this case, I have some decenosis or uh, still part of circumflex. However, mm, not. Not always good for kissing balloon inflation, right? Okay, what would you do there? Mm. So, what's your plan today? So for this? Mm. Uh, yes, definitely. Mm. Definitely, we implanted a stand. Mm. So, the how to implant is stand. So the you pre dilated it. I, uh, 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 we, uh, pre okay. and we, we plan to the reverse crushing technique mm. for this uh, uh, region. Could you show us the first? Yes. Okay, good. Yes, yes the circle complex I was. Yeah, from the previous. Uh, Here is a previous circum stand. Same. Previous circum stand is a 3.5 or something. Very expanded. The vessel size is almost 4.0. Previous stand is very nice. <coughs> but uh, here is your proxy circle complex. Mm -hmm. A little bit the negative remodeling. Women branch is coming from the nine o'clock. Here is a three o. Three four, three o, three five. Ostium is very narrowing. This is the left main. Okay. Please. Okay, based on the IBIS finding, circumflex is uh, 3.5, but uh, there is some negative remodeling. Could you measure the uh, location of a negative remodeling? Okay, here. What is the vessel size? I like to select 3.25. What is the length? Plus 18. 
Okay, length is 18. Could you give me the 3.25, 18? And you're going to join to, uh, to the, the previous stents as well, uh, Dr. An. Yes. So you're going to link to the to yeah. your circumflex stent before, right? Mm. Cover all the way to the osteo. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Right. Uh, sorry. Cover. So, yes. uh, Dr. An, I'm uh, Havara speaking. Yeah. So how do you think about this so, yeah. uh, without the stent uh, uh, DCB for this uh, osteoam lesion? Oh. Oh, this is oh, a good and idea. Uh, I think this is... Yeah, Dr. Habara said maybe a uh, Japanese doctor prefer uh, this CV uh, to, uh, in this situation. I think yes, this is yes, a good yes. option, mm -hmm. but uh, what I think the, for the, the, the preventary coiling, I prefer the stent implantation. For all high pressure volume, please. Three point two five. Three point two five. Yes, three point two five. Sixteen, yeah. fifteen. Length of stem. Eighteen. Eighteen. All right. Eighteen. 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 Perfect yeah. match. So, would you explain the what the what is the reverse crush? Okay, the critical class. Uh, 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 Critical crush is the, the circumflex stand first, mm -hmm. and then crush it, the uh, crush it to the using the main stand or the main balloon. Mm -hmm. But uh, here is already left main standing, mm -hmm. so the main stand first, and then implanted the circumflex stand, mm -hmm. and then crush it. This is a kind of reverse crush. So how about the T stenting? <laughs> tap. Mm, tap, yeah. Mm. Do you prefer more mm. of a uh, uh, I think a very convenient. Mm. Yeah. Tap would be a very uh, good option, very mm. convenient, very yeah. quick. But uh, mm. if uh, something happened in the mm. later, the treatment mm. would be not easy. So mm. the more, I think a more perfect treatment for the complex uh, osteum mm. would be uh, uh, crush it rather mm. than tap mm. technique. So you just don't want to have any metal sticking out into the left okay. main or mm. um, LA, proximal LED, right? Mm. Inflation. 12. 12. 14, 16. 14, 16. Deflation. Or it'll be for Remove the balloon and high pressure, 18. 18. 18. For the wiring, this is very important. This second inflation is very important. You can see the, the ostium of the circumflex did not completely open when you first put the stent in. Mm. Now you open it up more, yes, then you right. crush it, right? So then you can have a big opening. Otherwise, you could have kind of shrinked, uh, mm. crushed in the mm. ostium of the circumflex. Yeah. After confirm the there is no indentation in the circumflex osteum, mm -hmm. I remove the whole system of mm. LAD, and then I, I like to do the LA, circumflex stent crochet using the for all high pressure balloon. Mm. Uh -huh. Depilation. Left to main is more than four four point five. We can inflate mm -hmm. more. Twenty. Twenty. Deflation, and then mm. I like to insert the wire to circumflex. Mm -hmm. Please give me the wire. If uh, if the LED stand is well op well opposed and opti optimized, then rewiring would be e easier. So, <coughs> what, why are you using a um, so workhorse wire? We just use the wire. Yeah, Sorry. the entire wire. 
talk, please? This is a PM tool wire. Mm -hmm. Talk, please. Okay. Rewiring. So, uh, would you explain the why you know trocoded balloon is more uh, you know preferable uh, choice for Japanese that? Uh, we do, we don't perform uh, complex stenting around mm -hmm. the LMT. Mm -hmm. uh, to avoid a uh, complex stenting, mm -hmm. one option is the uh, use of uh, DCB in this mm -hmm. situation. Mm -hmm. Of course, of course, I, we don't have uh, enough uh, data. For all high pressure balloon? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. For all high pressure balloon, yeah. please. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dr. An, did you mm -hmm. care about which uh, which cell you cross, or you mm. just uh, um, mm. distal, proximal, or in this situation, you think because it's all stented already, mm. doesn't matter too much? Uh, actually, I don't care proximal mm. distal. Okay. Just get it uh, I only care the, yes, in addition, only care the how much I, uh, how, mm. how big I achieved uh, after mm. the final kitchen balloon. Right. I just, just focus on the five, six, seven, eight criteria. Oh, used one, used the volume. Used one? Yes, for used one. <laughs> okay, good. Please give me the uh, stem volume, please. Stem volume. I, I think that if the crush technique, maybe the middle, middle so part of the stem strut is better to rewiring, re not for this time. Maybe the carina or mm -hmm. the metallic seat, if it goes through the distal uh, strut. So the, in the case of the crush technique, maybe I think the mid part of the stand the strut is a better position to rewire. Okay. 2.5, use the one, please. Okay, so this uh, reverse brush technique, uh, mm. so costume of the circumflex stent is approved to the so LMT. So, uh, so but uh, so kilot stent, kilot mm. stent is uh, so proximal circumflex stent is opposed to the so LMT. So, uh, which is better to so, so reverse crush or kilot stent for this case, this situation? Doctor, <laughs> so, yes. can you answer that? This case, I think Gullard would be a good choice because mm. LED is very big. Mm. But uh, LED, I think LED is, LED. LED is more important than the circumflex. So the cool, in the Gullard technique, the LED uh, became the side branch. So the I don't uh, uh, I don't like to make damage to the LED. Mm -hmm. LED is huge huge important than circumflex. That's why I favor the reverse crush rather than the cooler technique. Three point three point two five high pressure volume, please. Two five volume. I already uh, applied the 2.5 balloon mm -hmm. to the circumflex, and then I like to apply the high pressure balloon for circumflex osteum, mm -hmm. 3.25, 3.25, based on divers finding. Mm -hmm. Yes. What about the LED side, three size wise balloon? LED is 4.0. 4.0. Now I am inserted the stem balloon, 3.25 mm -hmm. stem balloon. Mm -hmm. The after 3.25 uh, balloon to the circumflex, mm -hmm. I like to change the balloon to the 40 high pressure balloon. Mm -hmm. Please give me the 40 high pressure balloon. Yeah. 40 3.25.
even sometimes mm. for also 3.25 high pressure for even a French guiding catheter, mm. not easy to deliver it uh, for or 3.25. So that's why we prefer the large bore a French guiding catheter rather than seven French or six French. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's so cool. it's good. High pressure. Yeah, LAD is 4 o, mm. so complex 3.25, mm -hmm. so complex 18, 18, 20, 20. deflation. And 14, 14, 16, 18, 18. deflation. LAD, LAD high pressure, 18, 18. sequential high pressure inflation, inflation. In individual so circumflex source here. Left, what is the left to main size? 4.3, 8A, deflation. Let me ask the other panelist opinion. The uh, left main LED stand is, is one years old. So do you concern deflation that uh, you create more injury with the wire in LED with the um, high uh, pressure you balloon inflation? Have to prevent this balloon movement. Okay. A day. LED force and then good. Perfect. Eight one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, eight. What do you think, Doctor? Uh, 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 do you still uh, need some kind of a part, part technique for for this this ah. cases? <laughs> part, part, <laughs> maybe. Be, be, be who, be kissing. <laughs> I right. do the part usually. <laughs> Right, yeah, so yeah. we don't believe too much but in the, terms of, yeah. you know, but the, yeah. But the, in this case, mm -hmm. uh, left main and the LED stand already implanted mm -hmm. one, one year before. Yeah. So I, I, I don't think that part is necessary right. in, in this situation. Yeah, but yeah. Because uh, we yeah. really uh, consider mm -hmm. two balloons for all 3.25, you know, eight atmosphere, yeah. kissing balloon inflation yeah. can have achieved the uh, effective, yeah. you know, stand yeah. cross-sectional yeah. area, and so we don't need any, you know, <laughs> right, <laughs> test point. Of. Okay. I was please. Yeah. My concern yeah. is the circumflex osteum, because well. I already applied a very high pressure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd like to check the minimum cross-sectional mm. area of a circumflex osteum. All right, circumflex first. Uh, I believe that uh, yeah. Dr. Ang, what do you think we can uh, let you outline us both yeah. of them and because Dr. Marimutsu is finished and want to mm. show us the results so we can um, okay. move on, okay? Mm. We'll be right back. Let's go to Dr. Okay, Marimutsu. see you soon. Hi. <laughs> um, Hi. I, you have your coffee uh, already, I think, right? Finish. <laughs> 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 you. Please show us the results. Uh, yeah. I will show you, yeah. So this is uh, after ballooning 2.0 balloon. Mm. As you can see, the very diffuse disease from the proximal right to the distal. Mm. So I select two long stand 3.0 or 38 at the master and the 3.5 mm. 38 to the proximal. And uh, this is after stenting. Mm. Now, can I see the eyeballs? Yes, um, not play yet, but now we can see it now. Yeah, and the proximal part of the stand a little bit under expand. Mm. Big pressure. This area. Maybe but just the uh, is part three. This is like the model position two. Yeah, five model position. Inside. Yeah, this is size very, very big. Mm. More than too far, sir. Mm. 
lumen about three and a two and a half or something like that. So that could be a little bit bigger if possible. Mm. Yeah, this is a post after post diet. Mm. Uh, four point zero balloon. Mm. Looks better. Yes. So the, this is the mm. final result. I will show you. Did you do? Did you do the high pressure inflation? Right. Great. The proximal part. Mm. Yeah. A little bit. You know. Yes. So this is the final. Mm, final. And the acute marginal after, branch after is still there, pretty good. Yeah, that big mm -hmm. acute marginal mm -hmm. branch. Mm -hmm. would, would yes. Concern a little bit that you know how would it be pinched or not type mm -hmm. of thing. It's good flow and looks good. The narrowest portion mm -hmm. of a proximal part is mm -hmm. still, you know, yes. uh, compared with the vessel size, the stand mm -hmm. a little bit under expansion. Mm -hmm. However, effective stand area is more than seven, mm -hmm. almost uh, you know, stand diameter is three, five, four, or I think it's pretty good enough to. Great. Thank you so much. I, I think mm -hmm. it's, it's certainly very good illustration yeah, of you. how to do this uh, complex case simply. <coughs> thank you. Thank you. I'm going to go back to um, Dr. <coughs> An to show us your IVIS and your yes, final results. So complex. IVIS, okay. Dr. An. Could you show us the side complex run, mm. please? This is a complex full bed, mm -hmm. Dr. Dan. Yes. This is a pullback from circumflex and stand is very expanded up to 3.25 or more. Here is the opening. You can see that the left main wire is coming uh, from mm -hmm. the uh, 1 o'clock and here, here is the you crina. Could you measure the... Can you please measure the size of the uh, circumflex host tube? Here. Area. Area. Maybe a 5.56. Right, 6.2. 조금 더 들어가서 받아주세요. Yeah. Mm. It's more than <laughs> 6. <that>. And... <laughs> mm. uh, 7. Oh. 조금 더 들어가서 한번 더 재보세요. Yeah. I don't believe that one. <laughs> Maybe 6 enough. <laughs> uh, yeah. Run, please. Here is LAD. Mm. LAD yeah. This is LAD pull back. Right. Mm. Another criteria is LED mm. osteum. Mm. Six. LED osteum mm. definitely Why more than six. In? POC seven. The main. Here is this left main. Yeah, definitely more than eight. Definitely more than five, six, seven, eight. And here's mm. the proximal edge of the stand mm -hmm. of the previous left main stand. The room is very wide. And the proximal edge is clean. It's just mild plug, mild plug without a good complication. Okay. Great. okay. So, Great. I like to move the whole right. system. And you have clearly by arm striking. Ready? Ready now. So, so, 7, 8, 9, 10. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Excellent. Is it the card on you? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, please tell me, so How long? Do you continue that? So, do I untreat therapy for this patient? <laughs> anti therapy, Dr. Same, same. So, actually, uh, uh, mm. many op operators, physicians worry about the uh, stent thrombosis uh, in, in case of bifurcation stenting, but uh, based on the even syntax uh, uh, trial, the left main stent thrombosis risk is very low. Left main stenting showed a low risk of stent thrombosis compared with non left main stenting. Annual stent thrombosis rate is less than 1%, point something. So I don't change my 
dual antiplatelet uh, uh, antiplatelet therapy because of just because of left main stenting or left main bifurcation stenting. So the, I will apply the same strategy with the non left main mm -hmm. the DES stent, stent implantation. Okay. So one one year depth, mm -hmm. and after one year, high breeding risk patient or oh, mm -hmm. single. But uh, without breeding risk or without breeding tendency, I will keep the depth lifelong. Okay. okay, great. Thank you so much, Dr. An. It could be the like demonstration. Can we switch to um, the last case of this session to um, Dr. D.W. Park? Mm -hmm. Dr. Park, we're okay. back to you. Okay. This is your second okay. case for this session. Okay, Professor uh, Alan Young and the, okay, Dr. Joe, can you explain this patient? This patient is a uh, additional, yeah. the very complex uh, region. Yeah, very complex. And the first Bob. case, uh, syntax core. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. 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 Yes. okay, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So, and the uh, today live case, the first case is uh, one of a very complex case. The syntax core is 46. This mm -hmm. case is uh, 49. Yeah, 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 much complex case. I okay. don't believe in syntax score. Can you explain, <laughs> patient? Okay. <laughs> uh, this patient is a 73 years old female patient. She admitted for the effort chest pain. Her coronary risk factors were uh, hypertension and di diabetes. Uh, one month ago, coronary angiogram was uh, done and uh, shows the uh, CV center is proximal to mid RSA and left main bifurcation and diagonal lesion. At that time, she received the ICA PCI. The, uh, how much is stand? Uh, which, uh, two stand or just uh, one stand? One stand, 3.5, yeah, 48 uh, long stand. And uh, looking at the mm -hmm. uh, risk factor, diabetic and hypertension, and 73 uh, relatively old uh, age woman. Okay, this is the first view? Okay. So right coronary already put the uh, stand is to treat the long region using uh, 48 uh, giants stand. This is the area caudal view. Uh, we can see the very tortuous. Uh, uh, can we see the angiogram? Next one. We don't see the angiogram. Okay, previous one. Uh, okay, this is the uh, uh, area coral view. We can see the very tortuous. Uh, uh, you know, some narrow the suck ostium and the next one. Okay, this is by the view. It looks like uh, ugly. It's a wide angle. The costume is very tight and uh, acute angle. And the next one, this is the most dramatic view. Is uh, you know uh, we can see yeah. the very tight region, uh, yeah. proximate LAD, diagonal branch, the nasal small, and the circle branch, as well as the nasal small. You know, decide to stenting strategy. Uh, is not easy. Is the the syntax score is very high. So first question is Dr. Jo, why this patient refused by face surgery? <laughs> she uh, refused the surgery because of the religi religious religious. <laughs> yeah. So definitely, the, first of all, we discussed hot team discussion, <laughs> but the patient refused uh, by face surgery. <laughs> we decide to. Uh, no, the most popular reason why you know patient refused surgery when so. <laughs> All right, so would you, would you discuss so, as what, the, is, what is a good appropriate treatment strategy for this? Can we take a quick look at the right coronary uh, when you finish? Just sort of how big the right coronary is. Um, do you, uh, we didn't see it. Okay, looking at the uh, uh, right coronary mm -hmm. artery, yeah, so we put the proximal part and this time some uh, remained portion. It's, Diffuse disease. Yeah, diffuse disease. The, the PLV is pretty big as well, so okay. the, the, the circumflex has a lot of branches, yeah, yeah. but may not be as big as, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. Look at the right, mm -hmm. it's pretty big. So, what would you do there? Mm -hmm. What do people do? Yeah, have? so, and uh, this patient, we are, uh, you know, looking at the angiography. So, it's relatively small compared to the right coronary artery, but uh, not too small to ignore. So diagonal branch is also big, and the LAD is very tight. The initial our strategy is uh, uh, evaluation full artery, and the next one. So and uh, the wiring is not suck wiring is easy. This is uh, one of a fish casting technique to pass the uh, wire to the diagonal branch. Great. Yes. Uh, luckily, yeah, pass the. 
uh, the uh, diagonal branch and we use the Xion blue uh, wire and uh, fortunately the easily pass that region, the uh, diagonal branch. And the next one. So at this moment, we try to do IBUS evaluation. The uh, diagonal branch is very tight. Uh, IBUS uh, uh, does not pass. This is the motion of the try to evaluate IBUS. This is at the a moment uh, uh, we can evaluate mm -hmm. IBUS. A uh, lumen was looks like uh, uh, 3.2. At the, at the, at, uh, could you show us the diagonal branch of osteum? Yeah. Over here. Okay. We're not fully back. This is the diagonal osteum. Could you pull back? Big okay. vessel, surreal. Uh, we can see the here, yeah, big vessel, mm -hmm. 3.2, 3.3. Uh, yeah. And the next one. So uh, the, uh, we initially tried to all the vessel and pass the three wire diagonal branch and we evaluate the uh the so region. Could you show so us the so sock so IBUS? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, this is the sock, uh, proximal sock. Vessel is uh, uh, approximately 3.0, not small. And you uh, yeah. can see the osteum, of, yeah. This is the uh, sock osteum, it's also tied. The mm. main post to run the 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 Okay, here. And the sock osteum is very yeah. tight. The main is so, yeah, jump the, the eye boost. So, and we uh, try to decide to uh, also the evaluated LAD. Could you show us the LAD eye boost? This is the uh, LAD. Okay, we can see the vessel size was 3.2 and uh, here is 3.25 and very tight uh, uh, mid part of the LED. Yes, uh, here is a huge plug and the uh, proximal shear, some aneurysmal portion and the diagonal branch is coming. Okay, here is the, some enlarged part. Okay, here, okay, the playback. Here is the most tightest part. Okay, just the pullback. Most tightest part, the uh, LED osteum. Okay, here is coming the sock osteum. This is the distal main. So uh, on the basis I was finding, we define the vessel size, uh, how much big the diagonal branch as well as the regional length, how much big the circle branch as well as the regional length, how much big the LED branch as well as the regional length, and we decide to two uh, cross technique. So one is diagonal branch, one is circle osteum, and then finally to put the one stand is the mm -hmm. total length of 35, and then we definitely to cover the one stand in the story A. So, and next one. So, uh, we do, uh, we did uh, this is 2.5 compliant balloon, and the next one, this is a 2.5 compliant balloon, and next one, uh, here is the additional uh, non -compl uh, compliant balloon 2.5, and next one, and 2.5 in the, uh, the inflate up to 20 ATM. Next one, and the sock, and we also inflate the sock part. And next one, it goes okay here, and uh, we try to put the stand. Okay, you come check over. Enjoy already. Okay, much improved. Okay, test. Okay, enjoy. Okay, mm. and then in fact, a circumflex circum is relatively small. Mm. Uh, angiographic size is it looks small. So, however, okay. I was finding uh, the clearly show that around the three or big vessel diffuse disease, and so okay. Dr. Bob would like to you know, treat them. Mm -hmm. So, what is the next? Yes, yeah. so and I'm um, yeah, I'm going to put the non-compliant balloon to the proximate LAD and then sequentially mm -hmm. cross technique. At first, I'm going to put the uh, one stand diagonal branch and then mm -hmm. high pressure crush and then the circle branch additional stand and mm -hmm. high pressure crush 
and then finally put the uh, one stand to cover the proximity LED to the distal left main part. And then finally to Kishing volume dilation. That is mm -hmm. my uh, strategy. Okay, this is LED 3.5 NC balloon. Imagine you have to do so, uh, a uh, crush in both of those. We'll be, we'll be here for whole four hours. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Tiki Crush is a good, <laughs> but it's a too much complex. Too much, too, much time, too much time, too much time. Two double, two. Yeah, yeah. Quadruple so, kiss yeah. crush. Two kissing before the. Yeah, TK, TK. Yeah, <laughs> at least eight times. <laughs> a lot of kissing. Yeah, a lot of kissing. Okay, this is LAD 3.5. Put the stair and then and diagonal branch. Diagonal Oh, 3.0, 15? Yes, I'm going to do 15, 18, what do you want to do? 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, is there any difference in terms of uh, different technique? DK crochet, gullet, you know, crushes. Could you tell us something? <laughs> based on the experience, based on the data and confidence, you know? Thank you for this question. It's, it's very difficult to answer to this question because we have only a randomized study in left man with DK crush against provisional T stenting, and this study is in favor of DK crush. But the problem is that in this study, the lesion length of the circ was 17 millimeters, so we cannot treat this kind of patient with only one stent. So, so this is one of the issues of DK crush. Now, in this uh, particular case, I will not do a DK crush, for example. I will do an inverted provisional, so stand from left man to diagonal, because the diagonal is quite the same size as the LED. And then add a, a, a stent in the LED as a, uh, in the T-stenting configuration. Of course, culotte can be also a, a good approach. What you are doing is also a good approach, I think. Uh, with, uh, so it's not a DK crush, it's a crush. Uh, but I think in your hands, uh, crush is probably as good as DK crush. <laughs> and depending on the baseline angiography, you know, findings, we can choose a different, you know, two stand technique. Uh, however, we don't have any solid answer in terms of a clinical outcomes. You know, DK crush with provisional T stand is not fair to compare side by side, you know. And you know that bifurcation, the main bifurcation PCI concern, I don't believe any difference in terms of a two stand would be almost, you know, same with a provisional T stand. Any, the reason why big vessel, you know, second generation drilling stand is really good to make an effective stand area. So recently, we gathered some data. Upfront two stand, upfront three stand, just like these cases. You know, big vessel, more than two five. We want to do the stand, stand, stand. However, the clinical outcome is quite good. Yeah. I believe that one. But uh, in yes. this case, for example, for sure, I will not try to use only one stand. It's it's uh, completely crazy to use only one stent in this particular case. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, but I think this method is um, simple and teachable and very stable, meaning that you take care of the side branch with a stent, mm -hmm. and you take another side branch with a stent, and you crush everything down, everything is very stable, and you put the main vessels in. The worst case scenario, sometimes you may not be able to cross and some for some reason right and then you still have a very nice main vessel issue so i think it's a very stable thing rather than changing a lot of wires and you get mixed up and this is a very simple close the door close the door sort of uh, i think that's really very teachable and very uh, uh, uh reproducible in in many hands i think good okay here Test. Test. Okay, go. 12. 12. 12. 12. 14. 14. Okay, deplete. Size wise, 3 0. Stand. This size. is the 3.0. Uh, yeah. 
uh, uh, three point zero twenty three. Okay, go. Six, eight, ten. Ten. Twelve. Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. Deflect. 됐어. 요거 두 개지. 네. Okay. Remove the wire. 잡고. 자 이제 요 LED만. So and the doctor Lefebvre and the, do you have any uh, preference for specific stand to treat the distal left main stand? Okay, test. Test. Uh, okay, yeah, go. difficult to answer Six, this eight, question ten. because ten. today I think the majority of stands are okay with the left main. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I think there is a new one which is coming, uh, Megatron. I don't know if you have experience mm -hmm. with this stand from Boston mm -hmm. Scientific, but they had. Uh, 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 they have the, the, the stent has a very high radial strength, so for the ostium of the left man, I think it's a, it's a very good uh, as compared to stents where you have only two uh, two, two crowns, uh, two connections. Uh, I think three connections are better for left man. And there is four with the mega. And then the, we're gonna put the 3.538. Sorry, eh? Yes, and uh, you know, some key point about this complex procedure, just uh, before PCI, thoroughly evaluate the whole artery is a, uh, uh, you, the, that is make sure your strategy is uh, more uh, straight, uh, straightforward and on the basis of I, I so we definitely uh, certain the which si what size of the branch and the what, uh, was the regional length, and that is very helpful to decide the stenting strategy. Well, it's a message from these cases. Mm. Anyway, even any side of branches, as big, more than big, you know, three or two or five, uh, I think it's more easier to, you know, make okay. it simple. Just a stenty, stenty, pull up, and and crossovers. And anyway, that is mm. the message. Yeah, and clinical outcome concern. That's quite good. Okay, 12. 12. 12. Okay, say go. Deplete. Okay, here we're gonna check the angel. Ready? Ready? Cool. It's good. Good. Before, yeah, before final kissing. At this moment, the so beautiful <laughs> image. So, and next step, I'm gonna do. Uh, high pressure dilation using 3.5 uh, from the mid mid and the to the left main, and then to uh, recross the wire diagonal branch and circle branch. Finally, do kissing balloon using two non-compliant balloon and kissing balloon circle and left main two non-compliant balloon. I'm gonna finish this procedure. Okay. So DW, we're okay, gonna uh, let remember. you finish those, uh, and, and we're gonna look at the final result. We're gonna go to a lecture so we can keep in time. Okay. okay. So um, okay, we're going to have okay, uh, Dr. Lefeuve come up to talk about uh, secret of okay, application PCI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. So again, it's really a pleasure to be here and to share a uh, uh, secret, secret of bifurcation uh, lesions. Uh, I think it's very important to have in mind that uh, bifurcation is a fractal object with uh, three diameters, the main branch proximal, the main branch distal, and the side branch. So this is crucial if you uh, want to treat bifurcation lesions. Uh, we know that if we do not respect the fractal law, we will push the carina and take the risk of uh, occlusion of tight pinching of the side branch. And we know also that uh, when you do uh, not a crush, because it's completely different, but all, all other techniques, uh, you need to go through a distal strut. And if you are going through a distal strut, you, after kissing by inflation, you have this kind of appearance, uh, as opposed to a proximal strut where you have a poor scaffolding 
and non-apposition of the stent in the side branch. So the secret, secret to, uh, to solve this issue is pot. The pot was described by uh, Olivier Darmon uh, 12 years, years ago, and he followed the rule of the fractal law, which is uh, the different diameter between the distal main branch and the proximal main branch. So if you select the stent according to the distal main branch, you have a full apposition distally, you do not push the carina, and then you have to oppose the stand proximally. So this is uh, what you can do with a pot technique. So put the stand just at the level of the carina, the, uh, the balloon, just uh, the distal part of the balloon at the level of the carina, do the pot, and then you have full opposition proximal to the, to the carina, and you have even some protrusion of the metal in the side branch. And of course, it will facilitate all the steps of the bifurcation treatment. And after doing that, you can go through a distal strut, you do kissing by inflation, and you have this kind of appearance. So of course, there is some uh, uh, important uh, technical uh, issues, which is uh, where you should put the, the balloon when you do the pot. And in the bench, it's clear that you should have the, the distal part of the balloon at the level of the carina, if you want to have an optimal a pot and optimal protrusion of the stent in the side branch. Right. Okay. And then after pot, you have this kind of appearance with two diameters in the main branch and very large strut toward the side branch. So it's facilitated access to the side branch. Of course, it depends also on which type of balloon. You, so you cannot rely on the marker of the balloon. Uh, because the shoulder can be a different position according to the balloon that you are using. So it's very important to know which balloon you are using. Uh, this is a, a reconstruction by uh, Nicolas Foin, which was done uh, many years ago. So you can see before pot, the aspect of the side branch ostium, and after pot, the access of the side branch ostium. So you can understand immediately why it's easier to go through the stent strut when you have done the pot. Now we have some uh, data which are very interesting uh, in, uh, in the patient. Gérard uh, uh, Finet has done this work and you can see that the ellipticity ratio before and after pot is unchanged. But what is changed is the proximal main, uh, mean stand diameter increased from 3.3 to 4.2 uh, and also the obstruction by the stand strut in the side branch which is decreased by 34% to 26. So clearly, it's not just a theoretical uh, uh, approach, but a, a practical one. So this is an example why POT can simplify the access uh, toward the side branch, because you have this large diameter proximal to the carina. So by pulling back the wire from the main branch, you can easily go uh, to, through the stand strut toward the side branch. And you, I have done that in the case uh, this morning. Also, POT may uh, give further access to the side branch. So this is a case example. Uh, you can see that we have a, a small side branch, so we don't want to lose it, but uh, it's not necessary to treat it. Uh, the, the operator select a stent, which was a little bit too big, in my opinion. So this is after stenting, and you can see the side branch was loose, and there was no wire in place. But by doing POT, you can solve this issue. So this is just after doing a pot, you restore the flow in the side branch. So it's very useful and it can help you in, uh, in many cases. A pot is also recommended with many techniques. So decay crush, um, uh, Shen recommend to do a pot at this level, a pot at this level, and a pot at this level. So three pots if you do, want to do a correct decay crush. The same for the culottes. If you do a culotte, you should do a first pot here, then a second one here, and maybe a, a third one at the end, but at least two. Now, if we look at the data, the clinical data, this is from COBIS-2, you know very well this uh, data. Uh, so propensity score comparing pot to no pot with a side branch at least 2.5 millimeter in diameter. So it's significant, a uh, relevant side branch. And you can see that the, uh, the impact of POT is huge. So 2.9 mace at one year as compared to 12%. So 
So a big difference. Of course, it's not randomized, it's observational, but I think it's, uh, they are strong data. The problem is that POT in this study was used only in 24% of cases. So POT is underused. Now, if you look at more contemporary data uh, presented by Bernard Chevalier recently with, from the Ultimaster registry, when the bifurcation was treated with one stent, you can see that uh, uh, there is a huge impact in terms of target lesion failure, which was divided by 50%, and a huge impact if stent thrombosis. But again, POT was used in 34% of cases, so one third of the patient had the POT. Now, if you look at this data in patients who are treated with two stents, you can see again a, a difference in terms of target vessel failure, which is de defined by 50% again. But again, even with two stent technique, POT was used in only 42% of cases. So today, I... Uh, I conclude with uh, that POT is a crucial step in bifurcation PCI, and maybe next time I will talk about difficult side branch or membrane access. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you so much. Um, can we go back to the room? Okay, so um, we're going to go back to Asan Medical Center to see um, Dr. An's. Uh, Case. Oh, Dr. Uh, DW Parks uh, Ace, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Okay. Okay. And uh, I'm going to, uh, okay, go and turn it over to Kabuka. So uh, we did uh, uh, the, uh, the aggressive uh, post dilation using 3.5 uh, balloon oh, and uh, stenting on the top. Yeah. And we put uh, uh, one stand suck and one stand diagonal branch. And next one, so one. Okay, so final step. Okay, here and then. Okay, okay. we put the stand yeah. and the next one, and we do meticulous the post dilation using uh, 3.5. And next one, this is 3.5, 3.5, and next one, 3.5, and 3.5, 3.5. And this is the uh, uh, wire approach, and this is a uh, shown blue used. Uh, uh, the first uh, attempt, uh, the initial the treatment, and uh, take some time. And uh, over here, this takes some time. Over here, the past, the region, and the next one, and next one. And uh, this is another shown blue wire. Gonna trigger the bata. Okay, we try to the past the region. This is the uh, circle Austin over here, and the uh, wiring using the shim blue takes some time, uh, but uh, fortunately within one minute past the lesion. And then now uh, I'm gonna do final the kissing step. So LED anchoring, I'm gonna have a look. LED. LED. Oh, 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. Okay, uh, yeah. I'm gonna do the okay. use the small balloon. This is the used one. And uh, sometimes the past of the used balloon is difficult. Uh, I'm gonna use 1.5 <coughs> small balloon and then do uh, final the kissing diagonal branch uh, sequentially the suck. Austin. This so, for the kissing five. balloon, the non component balloon is better than the component balloon? Yeah, non component. Yeah. But yeah, sometimes so the no, our default mm. strategy. Non component balloon, the, uh, using the two non component is, uh, balloon. But so, we have to use uh, another non component balloon sometimes. Ja. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is one point. Mm. Okay. Central mm. part. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Six, eight, ten. Central part yeah. balloon, 1.5. Mm. Okay. Non compliant? <laughs> compliant. Non compliant balloon? This is compliant. Yeah, compliant small, balloon. Small, small, small balloon. Uh, yeah, 1.5. Okay. Go. Easy to pass. Just the opening. Just make a small. Okay. Deploy. Okay. One more. Go. One more. Six, eight. Eight. Ten. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Deploy. That means, what is it? 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0
한15 정도면 되겠어. 오케이. Here is 1.5. 그래서 so we put the 3.0 uh, drug eluding stand giants and the, the final NC balloon is also same size 3.0 uh, 15. Okay. 아까 1.5는 서커 들어갈 때 한번 더 쓸게요. 네. This is uh, 3.0 NC 벌룬 오케이 잘 들어갔다 하지 자 여기서 한번 잡고 6 8 오케이 세이브 디플릿 됐습니다 LED 조금 뺄게 자 이거 LED 오케이 we already did a high pressure for LED 자 디지털 다이그널 벤치 붙줄게 오케이 딱 맞네 자 다이그널고 6 8 12. Okay, save. Deplete. Okay, we're gonna do sequential balloon. Okay, 조금 더 빼서. 자, 다이곤할 거. 6, 8. 8. 10. Deplete. 자, LED 거. 10. 10. 12. This is 3.5. Okay, deplete. 자, 키싱. 조금 빼서. LED. 자, 고. A day. A day. A day. A day. 자, 하나, 둘, 셋. 자, one more time. 조금 빼서. 자, 고. A day. A day. Okay. Okay. Deplete. 하나, 둘, 셋. 자, 여기 다이거나 브랜치. 네, 여기 다이거나. 다음에 이제 서커. 아까 쓴 거. 네, 1.5. 응, 스파이러 뷰로 가고. 네. And then we do this step in the same uh, fashion in the diagonal ostium. 이게 지금 이제 뭐지? 박해놓고 diagonal branch. Okay, here. 1.5. 네, 네 1.5입니다. 그래서 so, uh, after the complete uh, assessment of imaging, is, uh, all procedure is uh, very straightforward. There's no hesitation. If, uh, if you decide plan A, just go straightforward. 자, 요거지? 아직 안 나왔지? 네, 아직 안 나왔지. 네, 지금 나오고 들어갔다, 그렇지? 자, 그래서 고. 6, 8, 10. 10, 1.5. 12. 10, 14. 1.6. 오케이, 디플릿. 3.0 다시. 네, 3.0 다시. 자, 고. 6, 8, 10. 10, 10 14, 14, 14, 16. 오케이, 디플릿. 자, 한번 더. 고. 10, 10, 14. 14, 14 오케이, 16. 오케이, 디플릿. 됐어. 자, 이렇게 하고, 아까 나온 3.0. 네, 이렇게 천천히. 오케이. 5번. Final kissing, circumflex hosting, let me in. Right? Yes. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah, right. right. And then the finish. Mm -hmm. The procedure with IBC variation. Use the one you it. Ja. So, in the first case, uh, uh, Initial syntax score 47, we reduced uh, up to 6. <laughs> this case, uh, we measured the residual syntax of 5. Oh, good, good. Mm. We reduced the 46 test score. I definitely believe if you're going to do complete revascularization, a long term result would be very nice, even though complex lab main region. Mm -hmm. 야, 이게 한번 썼어. LED를 좀 들어가서 앵커 하시죠. 한번 아, 들어가서? 이게 LED. 아니, 근데 저 다이고나 브리, 저 크레인으로 가서 한번 앵커 할 때. 이거 안 되면 그냥 유원 쓸게요. 자, 이거 더 들어가서. 이 정도까지. 
자, 앵커 한번 해보고, 어, 앵커. 자. 디플릿. 뉴, 뉴 원. 오케이, I'm gonna use new one. Uh, I spend my all energy. <laughs> Don't c o p y uh, on you. You want to show you? Yes. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, three all. <coughs> Just have a go. Just c h o k it. Spider. <coughs> so, and the, the good thing is non-compliance. We can make sure the very symmetric expansion is both branch uh, this yeah this advantage uh, is uh, if you want to use just one time the second time attempt is very difficult due to the high profile is that much <laughs> okay cool the region Uh, 여기 메인 잠 부스트해서 뒤에서부터 하고 나오고 뉴원 인 케이스 오브 넌 컴플레인 블론 더 리유즈 유노 블론 이즈 올웨이즈 디피컬 투 패스 자고 6,8,12,12,14 오케이 세이브 디플릿 천천히 내가 디플릿 하나 할때 빨리 하지 마자 얼마씩 돼요? 6,8 Eight, 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 e